Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number three. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are now going to go on to the next license, which is the third one. And I think it's Expert, if I am correct. Yes, it is the Expert license. So uh, we have 10 uh, objectives to do. And by the looks of all of these like maps, they look tricky. And I've just seen... No way, they have the Nurburgring. Uh-oh, I don't really like it too much, because it's annoying. It's, it's not annoying, it's a good track, the first section. But the second half of the Nurburgring is bleh. Don't really like it too much. Uh, so this is Dunlop Corner Chicane, Corner 2 Hairpin. Uh, this test involves riding on, on Sukuba Circuit using a Yamaha... YZFR1. You'll begin right after the first hairpin and go through the Dunlop corner, chicane, and the second hairpin. Stopping midway through the back straight in the section that takes you from the, the Dunlop corner to the chicane, you'll be tackling the course section that was constructed especially for motorbikes. Wait, this is a different section. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's this section. It's like a hairpin chicane. I like... I like the idea of a hairpin chicane. 21, 22, 23. No way! We are miles off. Okay, right. Attempt number two then, by the looks of it. Absolutely diabolical. Oh my gosh, getting around that corner is a nightmare. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, we can do it once more and we'll get it. I can, I'm pretty sure we could do it once more and get it. Nope. Okay, that's it. We'll, we'll take the bronze. For some reason, taking the, you have to take the corner very wide there. Which is very unnatural for cars, which I'm used to. Because you normally take it and sort of flow around the corner. But that, you have to go straight on and then swing it round. Which is very weird um, and unnatural. Uh, breaking from speed to corner entry. This test will feature the Grand Valley Speedway riding from the home straight to the hairpin-like first corner using a Suzuki GSX 1300R. Okay, so this is this is going to be tricky because this is the fast straight. Okay, made it round there. Miles off. Okay, so I'm thinking these are now starting to get like bronze territory. Where uh, getting silver is going to be difficult. So, uh, we're just flying straight through these now. <laughs> these are going to be short videos, and I was expecting the licenses to be short, so. But that's fine by me. Uh, so, next up is Avoidance 2. This has five levels. Uh, so this is a repeat of the signal test from the junior class. The difference being that your ride will now be a triumph speed triple. And the number of signals has increased from 3 to 5. Deceleration and acceleration should be precise. And throttling and handling ryth rhythmic. That's, that's not right. Uh, the added signals will result in faster speeds as you approach each signal, making it difficult to recover from mistakes. Try to maintain both good handling precision and balanced speed control. Wish me luck. 
Because that other, that other one, actually, we did get gold the first try, so... And I sort of know what's coming up, so I can be ready for this. Okay, that was good. Oh, I think I clipped my character, which is like an instant fail if you hit the person. That would hurt, though, big time. Because the airbags wouldn't have deployed in your suit all that. Oh, we're going this way this time. So it is completely random. Ah, oh, I've done it again. I clipped the inside. We just do one where we don't clip the inside, please. Right, we're off. Nice. Oh! I don't know why. I had in my mind we were going to go right. I think it was because of the last run. Right, this is... This is the one. This is the one. I can feel it. Okay, good. Nearly lost it there. Okay, it's all down to this one. No! Ah! It appeared too late. Way too late. Come on, come on, come on. That genuinely just took me 27 attempts. How? I didn't even get a bronze. I went straight to silver. That was just difficult. Overly difficult. <laughs> the the uh, point when the flags actually appear. Way too late. Way too late. That needed to be sooner. My reaction times are diabolical. So yeah, that's why that happened. Right, but on to the next one. This is S-Benz 2, and this is Grand Valley Speedway again. Uh, so this time our bike is a MV Augusta Agusta F4 1000S. Nice. Good corner there. Oh, I was pressing the wrong buttons. 24, 25 points. Oh, look how close. We're going to have to do that again. Because I think we will get that silver easily. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Let's try that again. What on earth happened though? Like... It's hard to maintain a decent racing line in this. So if we go like that, I think it was this corner that I messed up on the last attempt. Perfect. Look at that. Miles ahead. There we go. One, uh, 25.174. That's good. I press retry by accident. Let's uh, exit. Go to the next one. That's retry again. Exit. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, next. Come on. Let's have a look, see what this is. 
high-speed S-Bends to break in. This test will allow you to experience the section between the high-speed S-Bend and the approach to the hairpin corner of midfield raceway. Because you'll be weaving left and right through the S-Bend and breaking towards the hairpin while the bike is still leaning, sudden deceleration may cause slippage and lead to a fall. So we need to worry, uh, watch out for deceleration and all that stuff. Let's go then. Three. Oh, no. Okay. I see, see, this corner is always a very sketchy corner to go around um, on midfield. Very sketchy corner. It's not a great one in cars, let alone on bikes. And also, I have a feeling this is a Gran Turismo original course, not a real track. Um, I may be mistaken, but I do feel like this is just an original track. Which means it doesn't have to... Crap. Which means um, Gran Turismo can just change it. They can make it better. I really want to see, in Gran Turismo 7, I want to see everything come back. Everything. No matter what game it was in, every single track come back. Because it's been so long since we've had a big Gran Turismo title. It's... Wow, thanks. Thanks. It, but it has been so long since we've seen a full-size Gran Turismo title. Seven years, at least. And I think the longest gap between a Gran Turismo title has been... Five years. And that was between Gran Turismo 4 and Gran Turismo 5. They... Ooh, they really need to make... Um, have all the tracks come back. Right, we got a bronze. We'll take it. But I would love to see, like, Grand Canyon come back. That was one of my favourite tracks. All of the dirt tracks definitely need to come back. It, it would be amazing to see every single track that has ever been in Gran Turismo in one game. And because of, like, the storage limitations are not a thing anymore. You could quite easily make a massive game. No problem. Because you have to download most games anyways before you can play them. Uh, but next up is Blind Corner. So, uh, I can't say that. So we are on the Ricardo Tomorrow Toromo circuit in Valencia. Awesome. And we're going to be taking a hairpin-like corner, but this is a blind corner. Now, I know blind corners very well. And they're an absolute pain in the arse. Well, it can be a pain in the arse, but today it was fine. 21, 22.1. I hold 0 0.8 seconds ahead of the silver, so fairly good. Fairly good. Didn't quite beat the gold, though. Still a way off that. Right, next up, number seven. Let's go. I would have to say the one track I played the most... On Gran Turismo, it would have been Gran Turismo PSP, was um, Grand Canyon. So it would be nice to see that come back. Uh, we are on the Nürburgring, and I f completely forgot to actually read what we were doing. So uh, sorry about that. We're just going straight into this one. Now, I do know this section of the Nürburgring very well. Very nice. Oh, that was close. That was very close and very sketchy through that section. Uh, are we going to get 50.9? 50.4. Very nice. We got the silver. I feel like with practice, we could definitely get gold on all of these. 
But it would probably take me longer than most other people to get a gold. Uh, so that is number seven. We're now going on to number eight. Here we go. We've got three more to go of the expert license. Continuous corners with elevation change. Uh, this is another section in the Nurburgring, actually. And this is the horrible section, because this is towards the second half after the carousel, and I hate that bit. So uh, we will now be challenging the successful ultra high speed corners located in the mid section of the Nurburgring North Loop. Be prepared for a technical ride in which you will have to break and corner whilst going downhill or approach a blind corner going uphill. Not only will good acceleration be important here, but good precision braking will also be important in order to stay within confines of the narrow course. Yes. See, that is a problem. Staying within the course, because it's a very narrow track. For my liking, probably a little bit too narrow. I feel like the Nürburgring needs to be, like, widened a bit. Because the Nürburgring's been like this for so many years. I feel like it's time to get, like, an upgrade. Make it wider. Make it bigger. Though, this game is, like, 14 years old, so... It may already have been widened, and I just haven't noticed. Dreadful. Dreadful. So that final corner there, in the uh, square section, gonna have to watch out for big time and slow down for it. Here we go, nice. That's good, duck down. Oh, that was close to, like, disqualification. Slow down big time for that corner, which was very good. 30... F yeah. So we got a bronze, which is good enough for Nürburgring. Because uh, I, ain't, I ain't good at this. I've probably said this many times. I ain't good. If you want, like, gold medals, you should probably skip forward to like episode 5 but while we're doing the licenses no gold here we go though on to the chicane entry of Suzuka I quite like um, the Suzuka chicane it's quite a flowing corner oh we have already started we've got control of the vehicle did not realize I didn't see the start text. Wait, what, what, what? That threw me off. It's a different chicane on Suzuka here for this circuit. All right, fair enough. Three, two, one. Very nice. Ah, oh, that was, wasn't smooth on that sec that final corner. 28, 29. Yeah, we lost so much time in the chicane. I feel like when we're racing against opponents, we might be better off. Uh, but actually, like, time trial. Ugh. Not very easy. I will admit that. It's not very easy. But there we go. We're on to the final one, which should be the graduation class. Let's go. Let's go. E10, expert class at graduation test. And this is around the full circuit of... What is this? Autumn Ring. I had to remember then. Fact is, I'm used to driving crappy cars around this track. Because obviously this is like...
Whoa, this thing is massive. It does not like corners. We're aiming for the bronze. That's all we're doing for experts. So, 141. This is horrible trying to get around these corners. Nice. Awesome. Come to the uh, ring section. That was a perfect exit. Probably not the fastest, but it was smooth. 18, 19. I have 10 seconds to get to the finish. We probably should have been at this corner by now. Whoa! Woo! No way! Even with that little tap, we still got the silver. Wow! Hey, I'm impressed by that. I'm surprised the bike got round those corners. I am surprised. Right, let's see our rewards then. Ow, that's really hot. Ow. <laughs> Wasn't a good idea. But here we go. We've got our expert license. And there we go. Congratulations for passing expert class. Ta-da. New riding gear has been acquired. You can change outfits in the riding gear section. All right. Oh, crap. That's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. Right, let's go for a third time and we'll see what riding gear we have to pick from. Come on, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, so we have quite a lot of new helmets. We've got some more over here. Oh, I like that, matte black. Yes, please, I like that. Uh, can we go for a more black design now? We have to go for one of these bright colours. I feel like maybe blue then, with a matte black. Because then we can put on these new Alpine Stars shoes as well. We've got red, uh, white, blue, or red. I think white. We'll go for that. That seems like a fairly decent choice for outfit. He's looking good. He's looking very good. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a Christmas